Hello, today we are interviewing Cameron, who loves football. What are your thoughts on St George's fo football team's practice and what is most hard about it? Well, the most hard thing about it is probably um, the drill when you have to run out 20 metres and then you start walking back and then you have to sprint back as fast as you can. Thank you. How did you first get into football? Um, uh, my uncle played football and that's what inspired me and so I started playing. How do you think you can improve your game? Well, by, by helping other, like, other students in the team and help them improve because I'm pretty good. Well, thank you for the interview. Hello, everybody. Today we are back for the weekly Headmasters interview with Miss Gifkins. How was the start to the term? Really good start, Hannah and Riley. Thank you for asking. Um, everybody's in fine form. The, the weather's been hot and cold and everybody's been coping with layering. And I'm really pleased to see the raincoats coming in at the start of the day, just as a backup. And great to have sport all uh, a go for our winter season. We're really looking forward to all of the events and the exchanges coming up. What could we improve on around the school? Well, one of the things that we're working on as a staff with the students is just ensuring everybody's feeling okay. And we did the recent survey with the students on wellbeing, and it was confidential and we are working through that data. What I'm really pleased about is people at St George's from year four to eight know that bullying and teasing are not okay at the school. That was a 100% response from our year four to eights and I'm really thrilled about that. We've got a few students who have signaled to us, and again, no names mentioned, in each year group that feel they'd like some more strategies on what to do if they come across something that they don't like. So that stop it, I don't like it strategy is a good way to start. And in our health program, we're gonna work on that as well. What is the latest update for the building plans? Oh my gosh, have you seen the fences come down? So the next stage is the steward's house fence is coming down, Chaplin's getting a new fence for her residence and then the existing fence will come down. What that will do is open up the beautiful vista for our environment with lovely trees and wide open spaces to uh, really enhance how it is for you students and also for the community. And then the next piece of good news is the work can be on the 20th of June and that's going to be announced in the newsletter. Uh, it's in the term calendar and that's where we need many hands to come in and help uh, create the, uh, the new nature trail uh, which will be so exciting in addition to the playground. <laughs> can you give us some information about the upcoming sports exchange? Well, Mr McElwraith has been working tirelessly behind the scenes with uh, getting all of the, the details and I'd like to thank all the students and their parents and caregivers for helping out with the billeting. That's where we're hosting schools from Hadlow and Masterton and also St Mark's in Wellington. Huntley will just come over for the day trips. Uh, but we are so excited uh, to get this first exchange of quite a few this year. Thank you for the amazing interview, Ms. Gifkins, and, we ha and what a great Grandparents' Day we had today. Absolutely. Um, yes, it was always really special having our Grandparents' Day. Most of you know it's my favourite day in the school calendar, and I'd just like to thank all the students for being such beautiful hosts to our special family friends and our grandparents who are always welcome here. Hello. Today we're here to do an interview with Mrs. Van Dort and Richie. When did you start teaching? A very long time ago. I started at St George's in 2003, but I had been teaching for quite a year, a few years before then. What is your favourite colour? Favourite colour is green. <coughs> Do you have a favourite food? Uh, yes, uh, not one particular, but anything that's got heaps of vegetables is a favourite. 
Why do you like teaching? I love teaching because no one day is the same as the day before. Um, all the kids are different and therefore every day is full of lot fun and challenges. Where did you grow up? I grew up in South Africa and we moved to New Zealand in 2001 and now we are Kiwis. Now some questions about Richie. How old is Richie? Richie's nine. His birthday is on the 5th of February. When did you get Richie? We got Richie in 2012. Um, my daughter likes to remind us that she was the one who found him on Trade Me. What breed is he? On Trade Me it said that Richie was a Jack Russell, but we think he's got quite a bit of foxy in him, so um, he's foxy Jack Russell Cross. What does he eat? Oh, Richie is a very lucky young man. He gets a whole variation of dog food. So his favourite, I think, is possium. And then there's a cupboard that we have that's got treats in that he likes to sit in front of and do the puppy eyes and ask for treats. Is Richie allergic to anything? He is, actually. Um, we can't really give him any... Um, in Sorry, as far as anything that he eats, um, we tend to avoid anything that's got pork in it. Um, on the whole though, he is a pretty good dog with food, but he gets quite itchy in the summertime when there's a lot of um, pollen around. Thank you Mrs Van Dort for your time. If any pet in the world, what would it be? Dog. Do you have any pets at home? Yes. Yes, what kind of pet is it? A deer and a dog. A deer and a dog? Do you know the names of the dog? Phoebe. Phoebe. How about you, Matthew? Do you have any pets at home? Yes. Yeah? What kind of pet do you have? Um, a ginger girl, a cat. You have a ginger cat? That's cool. What's its name? Maggles. Maggles. Is there any type of dog that you like the best? Um, I like every type. Brindle. 